Hey everybody, my name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, sharing your girls some love. Yes, it is National Coffee Day. Happy National Coffee Day. I think International Coffee Day is October 1st. Um, and National Coffee Day stated via Google should be uh, September 29th, y'all. So I'm gonna give you some coffee fragrances today, all right? So let's hope we're on point. Um, anyway, I am headed out and I wanted to do this review because I love coffee. Y'all know I travel for coffee. Coffee. Um, most of my coffee comes from out of the country. I don't do Starbucks unless it's like a matcha tea latte, uh, something like that. But I make my coffee at home in my Costa Rica coffee maker, which is made out of wood and cloth. You know, it's very rural and I absolutely love it. I do have a Keurig, an espresso machine, but I use the rural stuff, y'all. So anyway, let's get to some of my favorite coffee scents. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells. I am going to a Ex Nihilo event tonight you guys and i'm gonna have so much fun so if you follow me on instagram then you may see that i will do a reel uh maybe post it later on tonight if i'm not too tired or tomorrow so the very first one we're going to talk about and you guys have heard me talk about this fragrance before people are sleeping on the house of aromas de salazar um and this is michael salazar he was a nominee and the scent explorer uh last year with aaron terrence hughes and another beautiful young lady um and he was second runner-up he has the most amazing coffee scent, the most amazing authentic natural ouds, you all. So anyway, this is a Cafe Fiesta. This is my favorite of them all, and I have about 15 of his scents. Cafe Fiesta, I'm gonna just give you what it smells like, because there's pineapple in here, there's some bergamot freshness, and there's, um, I think it's espresso in here, espresso coffee. So this literally, literally smells like a dough pineapple whip. If you've ever been to Hawaii, um, it's a soft served whipped pineapple ice cream and it smells like you just dump this into an espresso coffee or a rich cappuccino. This is good. Amazing 365 days a year. It's very fresh, airy, but you excuse me, but you still get a beautiful coffee note inside. You guys, I think I'm talking a little bit more than my mouth can keep up. My brain is thinking a little bit more than my mouth can keep up. Um, anyway, Cafe Fiesta, this is a must and you need to get your nose on it. Hopefully he still has it in production. I love it. So the next one is a very sophisticated coffee and oud scent, and this is a lovable oud. And this is Bewitching Yasmin from the House of Penhaligans. Uh, this is a beautiful, sweet Loatian oud. There's some incense in here, Tahitian vanilla, cardamom in here. It's a little woody in the opening, but it dries down very sweet. You get that coffee note. You don't get a lot of coffee in the opening, but as it dries down, you get that fresh, airy, vanillic coffee with a little bit of incense, y'all, and a little bit of cardamom. This is not too spicy in the dry down. Love it, Bewitching Yasmin mean by the house of penhaligans get your nose on this one the next one is my number one coffee scent of all times and this is cowabunga one this is the older bottle so they do have the newer bottles without the coffee beans on the side and it comes in the regular juicet bottles actually he just changed those bottles so it's a very nice bottle uh cowabunga one or juicet one it's two different names um this one is like hookah okay but it's that it's that juicy hookah because it has a watermelon note. It has a kiwi note in here. It's warm. It's a little spicy. It's a little airy and minty. There's Moroccan mint in here. Coffee, like all of that in this fragrance. This is my number one. And this is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. The most authentic coffee scent I have in my collection. And you need to get your nose on it. Sample it. Like, I think they should have it at Lucky Scent, you guys, for sampling. But I love this, you guys. That mint kiwi, watermelon, and tobacco with the coffee in here. Most of these coffee fragrances, while looking at the notes, I see they blend very well with a note of tobacco. Um, and this one is no different, you guys. Get your nose on this. This is by my favorite gourmand fragrance house, the House of Juicette. So the next one needs no introduction by the House of Tiziana Terenzi. We're gonna talk about two together. So um, this is Kayali, which I'm getting a full bottle of Oud Cafe, or Cafe Oud, and this is Deluxe. Now, I tried to, I smelled them side by side. They smell a little similar, they're a little similar, 
but this one's a beast, you guys. This one's a beast as well. Uh, but they're both giving you that coffee, rose, and oud. This one gives you a little bit more vanilla. This one gives you a really rich balsamic honey. I absolutely love them both. Uh, both are full bottle worthy. I actually declutter my Intense Cafe uh, because I love Delox more. You get more rose in that Intense Cafe, and I got more honey and more coffee in Delox on top of a beautiful rose as well. The same with this one. You get the rose, the coffee, and a lot of vanilla, you guys, and it's a beast. I wore this to two different stores. One of the stores that I usually go in, the girl was like, she was looking at me strange. She was like, what do you have on today? And I was like, why? She said, girl, I smelled you all the way from the back room. And this was a UPS. She smelled me from the stock room. I did spray it 10 times, I think 10 or 12 times. So y'all, even though it's little, it's mighty, okay? So go light on the trigger. Uh, the Siage is a beast. It lasted on my skin 10 hours. My clothes filled the air in the morning, you guys. Um, anyway, this is the new Kayali's Oudgasm, Cafe Oud, and this is Tiziana Terenzi's Delox. I love them both. So the next one, we're going to talk about these two together as well. So these two are very similar, depending on if you want your coffee with half and half, or if you want your coffee with some thick, rich, condensed, sweetened milk, or maybe that, yeah, that condensed milk, okay? That a lot of um, coffee shops use, like the Vietnamese coffee shops, they use that sweet, condensed, th uh, thick milk with coffee. Uh, so anyway, Minway Demi, beautiful pimento, that bergamot, cardamom makes it really fresh. The bergamot makes the cardamom really fresh, very airy, but you still get that tobacco, the warmth of the tobacco and the coffee. And then you have magenta tanzanite. This actually has pimento in it and I get all the pimento in it. It just makes it a little warm spicy. This one gives you the note of ginger, cardamom. It almost smells a little caramelly, thick, um, you know, a lot of vanilla, a lot of cardamom, a little tobacco, but this one's very rich. Which one do I love more? Because I'm such a gourmand lover at heart, I'm going to have to go with magenta tanzanite, but I love them both, okay? And I wear them both. I reserve this one, magenta tanzanite, for the winter. Um, you can wear Meanway Demi 365 days a year. This one as well, but this one will be a little more cloying in the summertime, you guys. But I love them both, but this one has my heart, okay? Next, we're going to talk about, it's getting a little warm in here, you all. Um, I have the air on too. So next, we're going to talk about uh, Origins of a Collector by Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. This is one of my favorite coffee scents too. This will probably be, as far as like the strength of coffee, blended very well to perfection. There's myrrh, vanilla, there's olibanum or frankincense, uh, which they use as a substitute for frankincense. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, uh, but a rich espresso, caramel, myrrh, coffee. Oh, vanilla. It is gorgeous. This is probably in my top three. This one has been knocking, knocking coffee fragrances out of their last year spots. Okay. Um, anyway, Origins of a Collector, or it is called London. There's two different names. And this is my Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. Get your nose on this. You're going to love it if you love coffee. It's warm, y'all. I think because I'm like running my mouth, talking, talking, talking. All right, the next one we all know is a beautiful caramelly, vanillic coffee scent. It's very spicy in the opening, but then when it dries down, it's absolutely beautiful. It smells like a latte, a caramel latte with some cinnamon, you guys. This is Cafe Cabanel. Um, if you want to get your nose on a gourmandish, more of a gourmandish leaning coffee scent, then you may want to try Cafe Cabanel by Teo Cabanel. I think that one's pretty popular. Everybody knows about that one. So uh, one that I just talked about with a coffee hazelnut, but it's almost, you definitely get a little bit of that coffee in there, a little bit of that hazelnut, uh, but it also gives you, I'll give you two fragrances, I feel, that combine both of these fragrances. Um, actually, it's kind of giving like a love, don't be shy and rolling in love. That creamy nuttiness with a little bit of that coffee, but it remains slightly feminine in the opening and it gets a little sweeter in the dry down. Uh, but this has the note of coffee in there. It is very light, but it definitely has a cappuccino vibe, you guys. Get your nose on this. Um, and this is, I'm not going to pronounce it, Passagiata in Galleria de Vittorio, whatever. This is my true sardi. True sardi, my babies, okay, is what I used to call them. 
All right, last but not least, I still think this site is open. Initially, they were closed. And this is Galleria Parfums. Um, and this is Cognac Cafe. Literally smells like a boozy cognac, vanilla, and coffee, okay? Um, I just pulled up the site to see if they were still open because I knew they closed down for a little while. And they are. And I saw that they still had a couple of bottles of Cognac Cafe over there. This is one of their most popular scents uh, a couple of years ago from the brand. So I will list the information down below and I will list the site down below as well. Uh, Cognac Cafe, get your nose on this, boozy. This is unisex, um, slight, slightly sweetened and the dry down gives you a slight gourmand edge, but I absolutely, I love this fragrance, you guys. That's the only one I have by the house that I actually took too. I did have like a yuzu one, but you know, cause I do love the note of yuzu, but it just wasn't for me. But that Cognac Cafe is amazing. And I think I'm talking very loud. Um, I kind of realized that when I'm outside, my voice is a little lower. And then when I'm in the house, I'm a little louder, y'all. So I'm, I need to relax and like just just chill on the videos. I get too like excited and you know, it's just like, wow. So anyway, the next one we have is Acro Awake. Love Acro Awake. Um, to me, this gives you like a um, zesty, fresh, airy lemon take, lemon coffee. It almost smells like lemon, coffee, and ice cream. Like you have a soft serve vanilla ice cream cone and you dump that ice cream cone in a cup of coffee. I get that like bready, slightly sweetened vanilla um, white ice cream cone that you usually get in a, when you buy ice cream. So I get that, um, that flaky crunchiness or something. And this uh, perfume reminds me of, it reminds me of an ice cream cone. And I think it's the warm buttery vanilla on top of the coffee that's in here. And that fresh airiness of the lemon in the opening. But in the dry down, it smells like vanilla, like a vanilla coffee cappuccino, you guys. Um, and this is Awake by the House of Acro. Get your nose on it. The next one, you have to love the note of lavender. And this is by the House of Replica, Mason Margella, right? Yeah, Mason Margella. And this is Coffee Break. I love Coffee Break, but you do have to love lavender. It is not an annoying lavender, a cloying lavender, or any anything like that. It smells like a milky lavender. If you like uh, fragrances like Lancome, Lavandes Trianon, just imagine that milk and lavender and sugar with a little bit of coffee on top. So this is giving Lavandes Trianon um, with some coffee, but of course the coffee in here, kind of like a white chocolate coffee vibe. Stunning fragrance, love it. I mix the two, Matcha Meditation. Yes, there is a tea uh, fragrance review coming up because I have a lot of beautiful tea scents, but I layer those two together sometimes in the morning when I wake up or before I go work out and I smell absolutely amazing, you guys. And this is Coffee Break. This was actually my very first coffee scent and um, I've had it for about maybe four years, but I don't use it as much. Last but not least is Theodore Scalatini's, and this is Coffee Addict, you guys. This is such a beautiful coffee fragrance. If you want coffee, a delicious gourmand coffee in its simplistic form, you know, plus it almost smells like a coffee caramel latte, milky, creamy, decadent, just mouth-watering. Um, you need to try Coffee Break, super affordable, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna give you guys my top five, not in any particular order. So it would definitely be Coffee Break. It would be Origins of a Collector, uh, which is called London as well. It would definitely be Juice Set One or Cowabunga One. And then even though I love uh, Cafe Cabanel, you know, it will, oh, sorry, you guys. It will be Magenta Tanzanite, you guys. And then I'm going to say Acro Awake, okay? So those are my top five coffee fragrances in my collection. And um, did I give you five or four? I gave you five. All right. All right, y'all. Name, um, give me down in the comments. Like, tell me something, okay? What's your favorite coffee fragrance that you have in your collection? I have a couple others. I have maybe about five more, but y'all, this video is long enough. That's enough. And actually, it's only 15 minutes, you guys. And we talked about maybe like 12 or 15 fragrances. Um, all right, go on to the world's better amazing. See, I should do good, be good, all that good stuff. And get your nose on some of these coffee fragrances. And like I said, leave me down in the comments your 
your favorite coffee scent um, or if it's one of the ones that I spoke about here today. Um, all right, love you all. Bye-bye.